If you're still manually opening your calendar, setting reminders, adjusting your focus modes, your iPhone is working harder than it needs to. And so are you. iOS automations can literally run parts of your day for you. You just need to know where to look. In today's video, I'm going to show you the tools Apple built in that most people completely ignore. So a few things I want to get in before I actually get into the actual setup. The first is why use automation? If you are a business owner, you somebody who are getting into content creation and all the things you may want to leverage automation at some point doing stuff manually every single day can actually cause you to spend more time on doing repetitive tasks and also um you find that you're spending more time on doing those manual tasks versus actually spending time creating or spending time uh, serving your audience or spending time even working on your business. And so it's very important for you to actually automate repetitive tasks. These are not only for businesses or digital businesses who have to send out emails and send out contracts and so forth. But there's some repetitive things that you do on your phone every single day that you can use automation to set it up in such a way that you don't have to do it. And also the phone can act as a second brain for you. Uh, the next thing is that you can let your phone do all the thinking for you, whether that is, um, let's say for example, we want to upgrade or level up our productivity. And so what you will find is that we may go into our creative apps to work, but yet still we're getting notifications because we may forget to actually put on a focus mode. So you can actually let your phone turn on the focus mode for you automatically. Once a specific app is open or you start working in a specific app or creative app. So you are going to actually let your phone do the thinking, not well, thinking and actions for you and those little simple tasks that you tend to forget. The other thing is that as a creative and as a business owner, listen, we have a ton of things that we need to get done on a given day. There's so many. We are the owner. We are the marketer. We're the content creator. We are the accountant and there's so many different things that we have to remember on a given day. Plus, if we have families, um, we have a life outside of business and work and all of those things, a lot of it can become very taxing on the brain. So to ease off that extra pressure, and to really let these devices work for you instead of against you or letting it be another thing that actually distracts you from doing what it is you need to get done, let it work for you. All right. So that's the main, like the few reasons I want you to think about using automation. Automation is not robotic. Um, it's actual tool that you can actually use to, uh, elevate your business, elevate your creative work, increase your productivity. So you can let the tech do its thing and you're able to focus on doing what you do best in your zone of genius. All right. So what is iOS automations? Basically it's an app that is on every Apple device. These iOS automation is actually built into the shortcuts app. And I'm going to go through that and show you how you can get started with it. You are able to set up triggers and actions. So basically what automation is, if this specific action takes place, then I want this device or I want this piece of software to actually carry out a specific task for me. So for example, I might say at 9 a.m. I want my iPhone to go into work mode. All right. So what the device will look for, the trigger is 9 a.m. every single morning, Monday to Friday. All right. So that could be 9 a.m. That would be the trigger. That's the action is looking for the clock or the internal clock of the device. And 
the action is the device will take is actually setting the focus mode to work. And also the other thing I want you to know with iOS automation is that I want you to look at automation as a digital assistant, but you can think of, um, iOS automation as your digital assistant, but with specific rules or specific duties that it needs to carry out once something is activated on your phone or on your iPad or on your computer. The minute you open Apple shortcuts, listen, you might feel a bit overwhelmed with all of this that you are seeing, but actually, um, there are some automations that are automatically set and you can also create, uh, your shortcuts and automations. Now there are two rules of thumb when it comes to actually doing these automations in iOS. So the first thing I want you to take note of, we're going to press this little back button to the top here. And usually it's going to give you the navigation system. You see all shortcuts, your share sheet. You can actually set up automation. If you have your Apple watch, you can set certain automations. You can also create folders and you also have app specific shortcuts. So there are certain things that you can do. So the first rule of thumb when you're going to use iOS automation is that there are two levels of automation. You have shortcuts, which can be triggered by you tapping on an icon or pressing a button or you can actually set up the automations, which we're going to look at to the bottom uh, of your device. You should see shortcuts. You have the automation section, which will run automatically for you. And then they give you gallery with some recipes on some of the things that you can actually do uh, inside of shortcuts. Now this is a whole total beast. I do go really, really super in depth with this inside of the creator flow kit. There's a full tutorial and breakdown on how you can set up the most complex ones. I do share, um, my own, um, content capture system, and I do a full tutorial on this. We're going to go back into shortcuts. And the first thing I want you to know is how you can actually organize your shortcuts and your automations. So the first thing we are going to do, we are going to hit that little icon to the top, which is our new folder option. And we are going to type in a name. So I'm going to call this, uh, just for the purpose of this exercise, my faves, <laughs> right? And you can select your different objects here. Uh, it could be people. It can also be symbols. Uh, whatever, uh, you want it to be. So in this case, I am going to, okay, let me put a timer because we want to save time <laughs> with these automation and shortcuts. So I'm going to hit on add and notice that, uh, folder is in there. Now I do have another folder called the, my automations folder, and this is where I have about six other things set up. This is what I use on a daily basis. So whether you're a content creator, business owner, or just tired of repetitive digital tasks, now you know why iOS automations are a game changer. Start simple. One automation can save you 15 to 30 minutes a day, and that adds up fast. And more than time, it gives you clarity peace and mental space. If you want to go deeper and get my exact automation templates, plus the systems I use for content and business planning, grab the creator flow kit. The link is in the description. And if you found value in this, share this video with someone who's constantly glued to their phone, but still doing everything manually.